everybody, thank you for watching today. So I'm going to be showing you another little Halloween favour idea and I've made these little witches hats. So I wanted something that was triangular so I looked back at some of my older tutorials and I had the gift box with the green triangular topped roof and I thought yes that could work and then I started thinking about it and I thought it's not really a favour size but if you want to have some maybe slightly bigger table favours maybe you're doing a nice Halloween table check out that one because I think if you've done it in black it'd look really cool but then I saw my favours that I made for my best friend's baby shower and I'd done these in baby blue a little bit bigger so again it'd be linked up here and I put some really nice fudge inside and they were the favours for everybody to take but I've downsized that and I've added this piece here to look like the, the kind of the rim of the witch's hat and um, they're self-closing so you just basically squeeze the sides like so and then in there are two lollipops so this is where I got my colour inspiration from because I had these in a bag so there's two little lollies there and I'm actually these are going to be going to my friend who is bringing her daughter to trick or treat on my door so I said I'll have something for her um, and they're all wrapped and it's obviously all clean and my hands are clean so it's all going to be safe for them to enjoy so they're very easy to make so let me show you how Okay, so the stamps I've used is this one again. So I used the Happy Halloween when I done my little pumpkins, which were gorgeous. So many of you have enjoyed that tutorial. And then today I'm using the Trick or Treat, but it has some others there, and it's the Sassy Crafting Trick or Treat. And then for the flowers, it's the one that's always at the front. I just grab it, but I just use this size, and I think it was, yeah, it was just the smaller sizes here that I used. The cardstock is from Paper Mill Direct, and it's kind of this off colour. You can see there, but you can see the difference that we get from that to this and I'm going to show you how to achieve that. So you want a piece of six by six and what you want to do is on the top of one side you want to run some red tape and then flip it over and on the right hand side you want to stick some more red tape. Okay so if I flip it back the top of one side the right hand of the other. Now before you actually take your backing off and everything I found that it's a good idea to just kind of roll this around something because you're going to be doing this in a moment to stick it together so if you start to just manipulate where the card needs to go it's going to make it a lot easier for you so you just want to kind of get it into this kind of shape okay and then you want to take the backing off of that one and also off of this one like so and then you're going to line up this one over that sticky tape so I'm using quarter of an inch so that's really how far you want to stick it over to try not to go over any further and just really stick that down if you're using a liquid glue then pop some pegs on there and just let that kind of set for the minute okay next you want to fold it so that that fold, that join there is on this side can you see now I'm folding it where that join is and then just stick down the back and this is exactly the same way that I done those favor boxes but they're just bigger and they have this beautiful fan detail on the front of them as well now we're going to then, that now join is going to be on the bottom, so you can see now we've got the top of our witch's hat, and then if you just bring this down and squash it, about half an inch, three quarters of an inch, you have your little treat box. Now they will stay like this, so if you want to just have a load of these, maybe you've got a, a cauldron and you just want lots of black boxes inside, they, they're really cool, but then all you do is just squeeze the sides and it will pop open again, and then just a little fold once you've got stuff in there it will stay closed but there you go so then I have this piece and I'm just going to stick that over that half or three quarters of an inch section so I'm just going to grab my glue here and just cover that bit there so the size of this is, can be anything you want really because you may you know, want to do a slightly bigger hat. I mean, you could turn this into Christmas hats and all sorts really, but I guess with that point, it does really work well for a witch's hat. So just squeeze that down. And then from this side, I'm just gonna go in with my scissors from the point there and just cut across. And again, you could use that one as a guide to get the angle. Yeah, it's about right. Like I said, they're just quick little favours, so I'm not too worried. But there you have your little witch's hat. Very, very quick to do. Then I'm going to stick down everything apart from the sentiment. I still love it with the glitter on, but I just want to see this one without, just to see if that pops a bit more. So I've used, this is the die. I cannot remember where I got it from. 
it's just in with my Halloween dies. It's just a nice little spider's web which I've used year after year. It's just very, very handy. So I'm just going to pop some glue. You can put the glue on like a piece of acetate or if you die cut these on double-sided sticky tape, then you can just peel off the backing so you've got them as stickers. I'm cheating and putting it on the back of my hand. If you've got sensitive skin, then I don't recommend you do this, but it just gives me a very quick kind of little palette. And I'm going to have this one around the top there. Like so I'm not worried about any glue that comes out because this dries completely clear and I'm going to be spraying that glitter over the top as well. But just get enough of that glue, just covering that piece. And then this one is going to kind of overlap. You could put a lot more, cover the whole thing with spider's webs. It would look really cool as well. So I'm just going to give my hands a quick clean. Okay, so now I'm just going to start sticking down my flowers. So I'm going to have them just the same as all the rest. So I've got one just there. And these are those flowers from Bright Rosa. And then I've just popped a little rhinestone in the middle. Finish with that bow on the top. Again, completely optional, but I thought I'd make them look a little bit pretty, less scary. Okay, and now I'm just going to pop that to one side. I'm just going to bring my mat in. What I've done is I've used, this is the Arteza Crystal White Mic Powder. I've shown these in a Facebook Live that I've done. I will be putting them onto YouTube very soon. But I've added it to this bottle of Surgical Spirit. And you can see where it's all settled on the bottom there. Can you see? Just give it a good shake. And now that's all disappeared from the bottom. But look at the colour that's swirling around in there. All that shimmer. All that shine. And now watch how it transforms this. It's just absolutely stunning. And the fact that I have so many of these different cut coloured little jars, I'm going to get more of these bottles and have all different coloured shimmer sprays. Bit more on the bow there we go now because this is a cosmetic grade mica powder it doesn't have a bonding agent in it because it needs to be able to be used within makeup and things like that go on your face so all you need to do is use a fixative so this is the kind of thing that you'd use to fix like your pastel paintings and stuff but just doesn't damage or color or anything it's got a slight odor so make sure you've got you're in a ventilated space And it dries very quick. That's you know that's not wet because there's no water that I've actually used on this. But now take that away. I have this gorgeous, extremely glittery. Look at all that shine. Lovely little favour boxes. And then all I need to do is just pop open the end. There it looks a little bit like a, a fish's mouth. I guess you could actually do some kind of cool looking fish as well. They would look cool if you're doing like an underwater themed party. That would be really fun actually. And then just close that, make sure I get that in properly. There we go. Bring the rest in. And then I'm just gonna finish it off with my sentiment. So because I haven't sprayed that, it's just a little bit more crisper. It's just got that, you see more of the black. Just turn my gun off, but I can just about get away with it. Just pop that one in there. There we go, if I bring up the one where, my lollipop's falling out. If I bring up the one there where I haven't sprayed the sign and then that one you can see. So it's up to you. They both look really nice, but I just thought I'd see how it looks without so you can see as well, but there you have it. So I've got my four little treats. I've got maybe one more Halloween idea that I will share this week and it will be a card, but in terms of little packages and stuff, this is it. And I'll share my full Halloween playlist up here because I've got four, four years worth of Halloween little treat ideas and there's some beautiful very sweet little things on there and some nice little home decor ideas as well so check it out but thank you for watching and I'll be back very soon with another tutorial bye